who's standing with uh, a legend after last year, Chris Mason. How was it to be to come back on stage on the Modus? Yeah, it was good. Good fun. I was a little bit nervous. Didn't know quite know what to expect because it had been so long since I'd sort of put myself in that position. But yeah, really enjoyable. Chuffed a bit. So I, I overachieved all my expectations. So yeah, I was, I was really happy. And then finals now? Do you ever expect that? Yeah, it was it, it was it was one of those. You just sort of, I was just taking it as it comes, day by day and match by match, and and that that worked out for me, and it was um, it was okay, yeah. And then that receiving the wildcard for the for the seniors, how you expect that? Yeah, well, I had been playing a lot, and uh, I'd put in a lot of practice, and then a couple of weeks before there was a couple of new in, new tournaments introduced on ITV, and that sort of that sort of took my eye off it, and then I slowed the practice down, and then. Just never, never really settled against Terry, and he played, he played brilliantly. I mean, six one eight is average, nearly ninety, and I, I just every time I got settled, there was a commercial break, and I come off stage and then start over again. But um, I'd like to say it was enjoyable, but it never is when you lose. But it was, it was fun, it was fun. But how hard is it to ask uh, commentator also training for that? How hard is that? Yeah, it's, t- it's tough because you, you've got to try and separate your time. And so when I'm down doing the modus, uh, maybe five, six hours of commentary. And then I've seen enough of the dartboard. I just want to switch off from darts. So then to try and practice when you're, you know, you're, you're already sort of tired of looking at a dartboard. It's quite tough. So, but it's something I've got to do. I don't think um, I was never the most naturally talented player in the world. It was very manufactured just through just through hard work and hours and hours of practice and uh, I think the only way I'm going to play well is if I if I put the work in, like I did for the Modus. I, I practiced hard for probably two months going into that. I played it down and said I'm only a commentator, but um, I knew I was playing well going into that. Where into the World Seniors, um, yeah, there was nothing nothing really there. For you, the World Masters coming up. Yeah. You prepare for that? Yeah, I don't I don't particularly like the draw. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, but it, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, just just honour to get the get an invite and. You know, it's it's like going back twenty odd years with all my old friends there, and yeah, it, it, it's it's something that it's it's given me a, another lease of life and, a, and an opportunity to play again. It's just my I'm so busy with my work, with the media stuff. It, it doesn't leave me too much time, so I've got to try and manage my time well and and put the hard work in and hopefully get the rewards. Gonna we see you again in the modus before this, before the Masters or after or yeah. no? Yeah, after. I think I'm playing in Series Four, so we've got Champions Week next week, uh, and then we start Series Four. So probably, probably towards the back end again of, of Series Four because I'm playing uh, in the World Seniors Tour events in uh, Newbury. Uh, that's two weeks before the, the Seniors Masters, so that'll just that'll just get me going in terms of, of practice and preparation, and then. Once the World Seniors Masters, I, I got to continue on that that same sort of practice routine. How is the tour for the seniors, the the, the pro tour for the seniors? How is that? It's very competitive. The the last one they had, I, I've not been able to play uh, as many as I, I would like, um, but I've sort of made sure this year that that I can play in as many as possible. But the standard is very good. The last one there was there was many many averages over 95, so uh, I didn't expect it to be that competitive. But but it is, and, it, and it's only it's going to grow and grow and grow and grow. It's you know there may be players that the first time around had a young family and maybe couldn't afford to play on the original tour, and now they have an opportunity. They they may be 50, 51, 52. They can they can still play, and and we've got something to play for. And it's you know there's a lot of fun before, but when it's game on, it's game on, it, and it's it's all business and serious. Back to the modus. We saw some all daughters come back. Alan Norris, Benito van der Pas last week. How is that to be the daughter scene back? Yeah, I think I think it's been amazing. I think it was a great story. It's something that, that, that George and Jason sort of created for, for dart players when we were in lockdown. Um, and I remember sort of building a studio at home to do the commentary from and I had computers everywhere. And I was like, don't worry, it'll work. And I was like, how can this work? But it did. And, and then we went to... Southampton and had sort of like a, a small studio and then now we've got this pur- purpose-built modus live lounge in Portsmouth and the players it's just the it's the positive effect it has on all the players no matter where they are whether they're young players like Gian Van Veen he played down in Southampton or whether it's players that have dropped off the tour and and just need to get back in and, and sort of move back in slowly it's 
it, it's, it's great and the, the feedback from the players is the main thing when if the feedback was negative then we would feel like right we're, we're doing something wrong but yeah it's just everybody loves it after Q School this year, we see a lot of two card holders from the modus, especially Robert Owen, one of the live league stars, same as Aaron Monk. Is Q School uh, easier for the men who play the modus? Will he play the whole week? Yeah, I, I think it's worked out over the last two Q Schools, the, the, live, the Super Series regulars. I think it's something like 70% of the tour cards went to players who were regulars in the, in the Super Series. And that's because they're playing in, in an environment that prepares them for pressure situations. You know, they're under the lights, they know they're on TV and on YouTube. So once they get used to that environment and that level of play and the amount of matches needed, it's very similar to Q School. Uh, and I think that's, I think that's why the, so many players have so much success. Looking forward to the rest of the Moda Super Series, Space 4 and 5. We see uh, new names from the EDC Europe. How are you looking to the EDC Europe? Yeah, that's exciting news. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know that was happening. Um, and of course, Michael and Vincent are, are behind that. Uh, and I, again, it's a great opportunity. That with the Pro Tour, there's only 128 places where there's thousands and thousands of dart players, and that there's thousands of dart players in different phases of their career. Um, and it's something that you know we had a lot of complaints early on. Oh, it's the same players, but we were in lockdown. No one could travel. Um, as soon as the as soon as those travel gateways open, we, we then got more and more players involved and now we want to branch out even further and we want to find new stars in the Netherlands, in Germany, in Poland, in wherever uh, and give them a, a platform and, and a place to where they can evolve. Can we see some new names in the modus, big names? Can you expect something? Um, yeah, there, there's, big, there's big names planned and there, there's, there, we're going further afield as well. We're, we're hoping to bring some players over from, from Asia. Uh, we've got the, the new collaboration with Australia, so we're going we're gonna to be getting more players from there. Um, you know, I, I've asked the question to the PDC several times, can we have players ranked 65 to 128? I understand they've got to protect their brand, but if they want their players to grow, you need to... You need to prepare them and get them ready for these opportunities at the moment it's a definite no um, but you know in t with player pressure because you know you're gonna get that situation where players will be looking at things thinking if I didn't have a tour card I could play WDF I could play ADC I can play super series you know I, I can get into the pro tours I can play challenge tour you know and, th and if they're asking that kind of question then maybe they're there's a reason for maybe some change. I totally understand they're protecting their brand with, with the elite players, but you know we want to we want to get those players that are outside the elite ready to be elite players, and maybe in time we'll, we'll get a different answer. We see more women's. Yeah, we're, we're hoping to do a, a complete women's week, so the the top 12 women players in world darts and and do a, a, an entire women's week with the with the winner going on to to champions week. That that's definitely a plan and. It, now it's just about the logistics, so we're, we're probably looking at somewhere around where there's lakeside, so we know the, the top women are involved and see if we can maybe get them in the week after lakeside or get them the week before. Great practice for them going in into their own world championships. On question. In the beginning of Modus, Taylor, he says, maybe I'm going to play. Is he going to play? I think, I think it's a mistake for him not to, but he, uh, he needs a new hip, and I think because it it's very tiring it's a lot of darts it, it, and it's consecutive day after day after day and I just don't think he felt like he could he could manage that and manage the pain of the hip but once he gets his new hip I think that's being done in June this year after the uh, the seniors masters I, I, I think it'd be good for him because I think it'd be great practice and I think that's all his game is missing right now is practice but because he's limited with how much he can practice I think it's one of those catch-22 situations. Chris, thank you. Absolute pleasure.